Hi everybody, this is Amy Fig. Thanks for stopping by my channel. It's a rainy evening here in California and there's also a full moon tonight. So I wanted to hop on here and show a simple way to put your moon ritual, if you like doing that, in your journal. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna choose this page here. This is, uh, this page on the right is where I cleaned my brush off. And so I'm just gonna work on top of that. So I found this, I looked around for a good size of circle and this is the lid to one of my big candles. So I traced it out and I'm gonna cut it and this is gonna be my full moon for tonight. So whenever I make a moon, I always look around for the best size of circle to trace. And it can be like a bowl, um, a small plate, depending on where you're gonna put it. It can be cups. It can be the lids to your paint bottles. Um, it could be a quarter. So this is the size I want and it fits pretty good. So when I say moon ritual, I'm talking about working with and honoring the very powerful energy of the full moon or the new moon by creating your own practice for either releasing or manifesting. And I first learned about moon rituals from Women's Circle in Fresno when I traveled there with my friend Anita. And they did some really beautiful ceremonies where we would, if typically on the, the full moon we would release and on a new moon we would manifest or call in things that we want in our lives. So, um, what we would do there would be to write down what it is we want to release, and then we talk about it a little bit with each other, and then at the end of the evening, we would light a candle, and we might sometimes burn a little piece of paper in the campfire outside or within the candle holder. So it kind of signified that we're, with this, this fire, we're transforming the the things that we want to let go into a new form and it's all very symbolic and it's actually fun and really artistic in my opinion so for my moon I've drawn a lot of moons so what you saw is just me making some scribbles and a lot of them are just your basic scribble and then I do these little like half circles in different areas and do some shading and I use this charcoal pencil because when uh, you rub your fingers on it, it smears really well. It gives you a good shading. And I want to keep most of the moon white, but I like that there's this little gray, grayness to it. So I'm adding some more depth by adding more of this charcoal pencil. That This charcoal pencil is by Generals and it's got, it's a 4B soft and I will link it in the description below. Um, let's see. So with the full moon, um, I'm gonna release things that are no longer beneficial to me because I've learned from them and now I'm ready to move forward. And another thing I've learned is that um, Rituals are, they're an important tool or technique that work like stepping stones toward our inner knowledge. And technically, I don't believe we need them in order to release something or to manifest for that matter, but they do help us to practice focusing our intentions on a desired goal um, over and over until it becomes just like second nature to do it without the ritual if you if you um, if you can't or if you don't want to or if you feel you don't need to do the entire ritual anymore you can do exactly the same thing without the ritual um, but they, they just really help you to focus and the practice of doing it over and over again because there's a full moon every month there's a new moon every month um, they help you to control your thoughts and visualize and um, 
if you go into meditation, you can focus your thoughts there on all the things you want to release. So for me, um, and by the way, I just used the matte gel medium. You could do any, um, any brand, but I like gold because it's my favorite. It's, it's really high quality, good stuff. Um, tonight I want to release shyness, uncertainty, fear, and doubt around just pretty much everything I do, but in my business, um, in my personal life, the way my appearance, the way I look, um, the way my business looks, my abilities, my intuitive and psychic abilities. I'm going to release the shyness about that and the fear and the doubt about that. And so normally where we would write these down and you still can write them down if you're going to do this activity in your journal, but I don't recommend putting them in the journal because, um, because I know about words and how they create things and they're like spells. We don't want to say and keep the negative words or the non-beneficial words with us in our journal. We want to, we want to release those, which is the whole point of the ritual. So because we are making a journal entry, we're going to put the opposite of the words that we're releasing. We're releasing in the journal. So for me, the opposite of shyness, uncertainty, fear, and doubt would be confidence. So I'm going to be talking about confidence in my in this entire journal over and over again because that's what I want to embody. And so with my moon, I want to embrace confidence. So by writing all this out, you can figure out I just didn't show this part where I wrote mine out, but if you write down all that you want to release on a separate piece of paper from your journal and you look at it and you read it and you want to look at it and, and think, what is the opposite of all of this? And it could be more than one word. I just chose confidence because um, I like that one the best, but it could be one word. It could be many words. It could be a sentence, a phrase. It could be a quote from someone else or from you. Um, but it needs to be the opposite of what you're releasing. And so I'm going to embrace it instead of release it. And here I'm using some chalk pastel, which really, um, it rubs in easily and gives this rosy cheeks look so cute. Um, so I want this moon to be embracing confidence. Now, how could I do that? How about if I give her some arms? Because she's going to hug it or hold it in some way. So this is the way my mind works. And I love the way my mind works. It's fun and silly and I'm not taking it too seriously. So I'm drawing these hands and I, I don't care if they look anatomically correct. I just want to convey that they're hands and I'm using my favorite markers, these Posca markers. We ordered them online from Amazon and, and they're amazing. Got them in a set, but, um, they're paint. It's paint in a marker. It's so fabulous. I just love it. I can't say enough about these and they make everything so easy. They make writing Instead, like I used to have to paint, if I was going to paint this word confidence, it would have taken me at least 30 minutes. Um, but I can just write it quickly with this paint marker now, so I'm so excited about these. So I wrote confidence and I let it dry because this does take a few minutes to dry because it is actual paint in the marker. Um, so once that was dry, I set it on top of the hands because I want to give the effect that they're holding it so they need part of the hand needs to show up in front or on top of the red paper. So now I'm just filling this in. And 
and I'm really loving how this looks so much. And this is not a very um, detailed work of art here. This is fun. It was quick in my journal. And um, there are many different types of ways to express what I'm manifesting or releasing around the new moon and the full moon. So I look forward to making many of these uh, these videos to give you ideas and I'm hoping that they spark something in you and that you might share it with someone else too. I think it's a really good idea to have a, a moon journal and it, it helps you not only to actually realize your, your creating but you can look back and see how, oh, saying the opposite is what got me what I needed. Instead of focusing on all that I was releasing and holding on to the things I wanted to release, doing the opposite and actually documenting the opposite helped me out and helped me to bring in what I actually wanted. And I just want to report that I'm already feeling the confidence flowing through me just from doing this right now. So gluing this down again with the matte gel medium. And I like pressing my collage pieces down with a, a paper towel. It helps so that I don't smear anything or what might already be on my fingers doesn't get smeared on the page. And then I'm writing down that the full moon is in Leo tonight. And I also am going to add the date because I'm really into adding the date lately. I really feel like it's important that I document all that I'm going through. And I kind of wish I would have been doing that a little more in the past, but that's okay. I'm I'm realizing it now and I'm starting where I'm at. So here she is. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you try it or try something similar or just get out your journal on the full moon sometime. And find me in the next one. I will have another one of these videos.